You cannot spit in somebody's face and then get scared when it's time to fight. It's just annoying me And I'm too about it And the dirt that they do on my name Turn to soil and I grew about it Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gonna do about it Big wheels keep rolling, rolling I'm house well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter up Till I die Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Sacks, the big but not the little one. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button because we live here in that song, period, okay? So today's video is going to be a stripper vlog, y'all. But before we get started into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for getting me to 5K subscribers. Like, when I tell y'all I am literally mind blown right now, like literally mind blown. And I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, why are you so shocked? And that's because like literally a year ago when I started my channel back in April, I would have never thought that a year from now, your girl would be at 5K subscribers. Like that's really insane. Like just the thought of 5,000 people supporting me is like so insane to me. Like I just wanna say thank you guys so freaking much. Thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all for loving me. Thank y'all for motivating me. And mainly thank y'all for pushing me to keep going because sometimes YouTube can get a little stressful. Like I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like for the ones who know, no, but for the ones who don't know, I'm here to tell y'all. Sometimes YouTube can get very stressful and sometimes it can put you in a state to where you're like, oh, feel so defeated at times. But y'all motivate me and y'all push me to keep going. You feel what I'm saying? So YouTube is not easy. Like it is not easy. Like if anybody told y'all YouTube was easy, baby, they lied, okay? Sometimes I've been having these moments where I'd be like, this isn't good enough or that isn't good enough or they're not gonna like this or they're not gonna like that or I have to make this a certain type of way or I have to make that a certain type of way and sometimes it becomes hectic y'all sometimes it becomes so hectic that I literally feel defeated so I just want to thank each and every one of y'all who subscribed to my channel either like the video watch the video even if you haven't subscribed even if you just simply watch the video I just want to say thank you guys so much I love you guys so much and y'all are literally the best humans ever okay <laughs> all right y'all so today is Thursday and girl just got back from my hair appointment and what do y'all think <laughs> what do y'all think like this is eat or this is eat like let's be real if we're gonna be anything let's be for real y'all this wig is definitely giving everything it's supposed to give baby when i say fire it's definitely fire like no lie it's the highlight for me like can we get into the lace like the lace is definitely like it's giving scalp baby like it's giving scalp like, say it ain't so. <laughs> say it ain't so. <laughs> Your girl's in a good mood. I got my hair done today, y'all. I'm feeling good, looking good, baby. Who? Oh, why? <laughs> but, y'all, I am not working today because today is Thursday, and the club that I work at do not be hitting on nothing on Thursday. So, we are definitely working this whole weekend. We work it Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we into the bag, okay? Cause your girl's going out of town in the next two weeks. So I'm trying to collect them coins, okay? So Good morning, y'all. So today is Friday and your girl is not in the best mood, okay? Let me just tell y'all. So today I have to go to the Apple store because my phone decided it wanted to go out yesterday. So I plugged my phone up to charge and besides my percentage going up, my percentage was going down. And so I noticed all day yesterday, it was never going up. Literally irritated me to the max. Like I literally had to put my phone on charge and not touch it at all for it to charge. It's like the charger was killing my battery, bring my battery down, but it didn't really matter if I charged it or not because it was still gonna die anyways. Apple. For real, for real, we really have to do better. We really have to do better with this because I'm really just getting tired of this. This is like an every year thing for me. Literally, like the longest I can have my iPhone is like a year. And then after a year, everything goes left, like literally. So now I have to go all the way to the Apple store, which is an hour and 45 minutes away. I had plans on doing things today and now all the plans is canceled because I don't got a phone. Like I'm just aggravated and I have to get my rental car today so I can work this weekend. It's just too much. Like it's just too much and not enough. I'm just aggravated. Like. All right, y'all, so your girl just got her rental car. I'm just so happy that I got that out the way because I feel like I'm rushing today because I have a lot going on. I still got to make it to this Apple store in the next two hours, and it's like an hour and 30 minutes away, and I still got to go back to the crib. So your girl's rushing right now, okay? <laughs> yeah, why when I went to go pick up my rental car, they tried to put me in this box. Like, I was like, what is that? That is not what I paid for. She gonna say, well, that's all we got. I'm like, all y'all got what? Like, in general? Because if that's the case, I'll just drive my own car before I drive this little box. Like, y'all, when I say the car was literally a box, the car was literally a box. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? 
like literally like what am i gonna do? i don't want that i'm sorry i don't want that y'all know that commercial with that little rat with that little box car <laughs> that was a car she was trying to give me i was like i do not want this like and i wasn't trying to act bougie and stuck up or whatever but i mean i'm barbie stacks so and what i want i want what i don't i don't simple what i'm really not understanding is why every time a new phone come out y'all send all the phones up in flames like literally like everything messes up so i'm literally over it at this point and when i get to this apple store i don't want to hear nothing just replace my phone don't give me another phone so i could be in and out baby because i got stuff to do okay i got stuff to do we're going to work tonight and i'm not trying to be tired straight up and down like run me my phone if i run up in here and take it out the back like what you talking about <laughs> no nah, let me stop <laughs> all right y'all so you guys just made it to work and i'm running late y'all i just literally just got here Cause I had always but y'all so we should ask tonight period. many fights tonight so many fights tonight so many about to be fights tonight like literally crazy so first and foremost let's just start here so why one of the dancers had spit in the customer's face and he went ballistic when i say crazy he went crazy the security kicked him out and everything and now his sister is outside of the club which is also a dancer trying to fight the girl and the girl on the inside of the club in the office scared watching the cameras Baby, you can't spit nobody face and then get scared when it's time to fight. <laughs> Baby, hop out in that field. You know what I'm saying? Hop out in that field. Like, I cannot stand when people do something to a person, then be scared when it's time to fight. Don't get me wrong. I don't know the backstory. So I'm not siding with him at all. I'm not siding with him because I don't know the backstory. But you cannot spit in somebody's face and then get scared when it's time to fight. What do you think they was going to do? What you thought they was going to take you out of dinner? Y'all was, was gonna kumbaya, y'all was gonna talk about it over a therapist. Girl, you just spit in these people's face. What is you really thinking? You feel what I'm saying? Like, you cannot spit in nobody's face and then be scared when it's time to fight. And on top of that, the dude face she spit in trying to fight my manager, like, it's just way too much going on. Like, he was like, yo, son, you either gonna pop out, you either gonna let her out, you gonna come out, or I'm gonna send somebody in there. I don't take threats lightly at all whatsoever. Like, even if a person threatened me, if you, even if you personally threaten me, I'm just gonna hit you off rip because I don't take threats lightly at all. Like, you say you gonna do something, I'm not that type of person that can guess it or downplay it like you really not like that. Like, I don't know you. I don't know what you capable of doing. He said he was about to send somebody in the club. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart, because your girl is out of there. Can I take threats lightly? I don't care who it's coming from. I said, I was about to fight this girl earlier. When I tell y'all, get to, get to, like, so she was in a section, right? And the section she was in was kind of close by where I was at, and I was on the floor. So it was a floor, and at the club I work at, it's like the floor you have to walk up steps to get to the section, right? So mind you, it's two different floors. So she was in a section which was a higher floor, and I was on the ground, but I was not right by the section. I was more like over here. You feel what I'm saying? So it was a couple people over there, and they all had ones. I'm guessing they came together. So I'm like, all right, babe, I'm about to make this money. Like y'all, tonight was really a struggle. Like it was really hard to make money here tonight. So I needed every coin I could get. You feel what I'm saying? And over there, and I started dancing over them they started throwing money so y'all know how this money thing go money is paper at the end of the day the day money flies money land wherever it wants to land the money that they was throwing was landing in close to their section but still on the ground right but mind you they didn't have no money on the ground they didn't have no money on the ground if they did it was probably like three four dollars literally no cap but that is what females began mad about nowadays it could be a dollar and they would have fought about a dollar by the time they got done throwing the money i started sweeping my money over there by me and so sure they're gonna say oh you taking our money i don't really like that da -da -da -da. i'm like girl this is not your money she's gonna say yes it is i sat there and i watched the whole thing i said i sat here and i watched the whole thing too what you thought you was the only one watching something so i saw my money land over there by the section it didn't land in the section but it landed by the section on the floor where i'm at you're in the section which is a whole nother floor level than where i'm at which is a whole nother level than where i'm at like i said the section has its own floor you have to walk upstairs to get to it baby you trying to be greedy at this point you trying to get that money and my money too like we're not doing that so she gets in my face and she like i don't really like that da -da -da -da. i said girl i don't care what you like like i said this is my money and i took it what's up like like real talk like what you want to do about it? like we're not about to sit up here discuss nothing go back and forth on nothing i said what i 
I said I do what I think. Whatever you want to do after that, we can do that. I don't understand why females try to do the most of a money that don't even belong to them. Uh, when I say it, it's just so weird to me. Like, it's beyond weird. Like, you making money, you trying to take my money. Like, make it make sense. It's not making sense at all. When I just say it was so much going on tonight, it was literally so much going on. A fight broke out tonight between a customer and a dancer. And when I tell you that, that was so ghetto. The girl snatched her wig off and scratched her all in her face and everything. Really dogged her out. I was just like... I'ma mind my business, okay? I, but I know Shorty snatched her wig off, threw water in her face, and whooped her. Okay, definitely did that. Like tonight was just so ghetto, y'all. When I say ghetto, it has really been ghetto. I just, I'm literally, I'm ready to go home. I want my money. I want to go home, take a shower, and lay down. Like literally, y'all. And I gotta be back here tonight and deal with this. <laughs> I don't think I should have to deal with this because this is this is beyond ghetto. Like when I say they got this, they they got it. <laughs> What's up, you guys? So today is Sunday, and your girl is at work. I know I did not show y'all a money count last night, and that's because your girl was so tired yesterday. When I finally got home, y'all literally, your girl hit the shower and hit the bed, like literally in that order. I was just so freaking tired, but I'm gonna make sure I show y'all that money count tonight when I get back home. Wish your girl a bag, okay? Wish your girl a bag because I need a band tonight, like. I didn't know being a better, like literally. Cause last night, I'm not gonna say last night was trash, but it wasn't what I was expecting it to really be. You feel what I'm saying? Like I was expecting it to really hit off something and it really just wasn't hit on nothing. So tonight I need at least a band. I got a lot of stuff to pay for. Bills coming up. You feel what I'm saying? Your girl just need a freaking bag. Like I just want a band. That's it, a band. <laughs> I just hope there's no drama tonight. Cause yesterday it was just too much. Absolutely too much. And then on top of that, y'all, I didn't leave the club yesterday to 12 o'clock. Do you not know how irritated I was? Like, I don't understand why it take them so long to count the money. Like, I know y'all stealing, but can y'all steal and be quick with it? Like, y'all just taking y'all sweet time to steal, and it's really just blowing me now. Like, that's why I hate coming to this club, because they take forever and a day to give you your money. And by the time you get your money, you be like, this wasn't even worth staying here for. And I know a lot of girls be like, oh, I'm not about to stay and wait on my money. I'm just going to get it tomorrow. And I be like, well, I wish I had that luxury. Like, I don't even live around the corner and down the street. I live a whole hour and 30 minutes away and then on top of that the manager hate me baby don't, don't let me leave my money there he gonna take it <laughs> he gonna take it and that's just how the cookie crumble with me so i'm like i don't even have that luxury to leave my money i'm telling you because as soon as i do he gonna be like oh well it ain't in here and then we're gonna have to fight straight up and down i am so freaking tired though y'all and i know i slept all freaking day but i'm still tired like my body it's not even like the sleepy tired where i need to go to bed it's a type of tired like my body's tired like literally I ain't gonna say I'm gonna take it easy tonight, but I literally just wanna make my money and go home. I do not wanna be up here all morning waiting on my money. Like, please, can we wrap it up? Please. <laughs> like, when I first got this hair color, I kinda was like, mm, you guys are a little iffy about it, cause I really didn't know how I felt. But it's cute. It's definitely giving. It looks so good with my skin tone, and I feel like it makes my features pop out. What y'all think? Y'all like this color on me? Is it giving? Just something about blonde that really just bring out your features. Really just bring that girl out of you. You feel what I'm saying? Your girl's really on her grown and sexy. <laughs> Y'all look so grown with this hair. This is crazy. It's like, I'm just so happy I don't live down here. And these people don't know me. And I don't know these people. Because cause the stuff they be having going on, it be so petty. But they will make it seem like the worst thing ever. And I be like, y'all really got to grow up. As a dancer, you shouldn't let nobody come in between your bag. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you should have enough self-control for sure to not let somebody get in between your bag. I think that's what a lot of girls here fail to realize is at the end of the day, you're at work. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I understand it's like a party environment, but at the end of the day, you're still at work. You're still here to make your money. So if you can avoid fighting, by all means, avoid it when it comes to your money. But if you really out here just trying to stare it up and trying to see how far you can go with people just because you need to grow up baby we is at work we is not at the regular club we is not here to get lit and turn up some of y'all are some of y'all are but baby i'm not here to make my coins don't get me wrong it be times where i be wanting to put my hands on people i'm not even gonna lie to you it definitely be times but i also gotta think this is my money you feel what i'm saying like you're not that important to where i'm gonna mess up my own bag like absolutely not but y'all i'm about to go ahead and head into work y'all before they raise this tip out and your girl is not trying to pay a hundred dollars so i'm about to go into work and i'm gonna see y'all when i get in there <laughs> weird and broke like can we start there weird and broke like 
it's tax season. Why y'all don't have no money? Like, there's no excuse. Like, it's Christmas time over. New Year's is over. Everybody done shook back. Why you still don't have no money? Like, <laughs> it's giving broke. Like, in real life, not the fake life. Like, when I say y'all so irritated, I'm so irritated. Like, tonight I probably made three something. Maybe. 360. Because everybody was just acting broke. Like, and on top of that, it wasn't even that many people in there. We didn't get a crowd of people till like, 3 o'clock. And it's 4 o'clock right now. Like, yeah i'm so freaking sleepy the club was so freaking dry tonight like when i tell you dry absolutely dry like there was nothing going on like not even no drama tonight oh let me tell y'all why i'm on here talking let me tell y'all so y'all remember the dude that i told you about earlier in the vlog the dude that got spit in the face why they let him back in the club tonight why did they let him back in the club tonight i'm just like what was even a purpose like why kick him out if you're gonna let him back in you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They be doing some weird, weird activity where I work at. Like, how? Like, you just got kicked out and you're back tonight. It hasn't even been 24 hours. Like, make it make sense. Like, for real. Because <laughs> it's not mapping. Something that I would never understand is why couples come to the club to look for a third party. I'm not about to be y'all rag though. I'm not about to be y'all play toy. Like, couples come to the club to find a third party for their relationship. It gives their relationship is skating on thin ice. Okay? <laughs> the woman, why would you help your man find a woman to have a threesome with? If that's really a man, like, you're really in love with him. I don't know, y'all. That's just weird. Like, personally, me, I could never see myself looking for a third party to intervene in my relationship. I don't even get down like that, okay? I don't even get down like that. I don't even play like that. Like, what's mine is mine. Like, I do not play. When I say something is mine, I mean that. And I don't like the shit. When I say strong, strong black queen, okay? <laughs> Baby, who? I ain't doing it, okay? All right, y'all. So, you girls back from the club. And I'm going to show y'all what I made last night and the night before. Um, I know I didn't show y'all the money count from Saturday night, so I'm going to show you Saturday's night and tonight, okay? So, let's just start off with Saturday's night money count. So, this is what I made Saturday night, y'all. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 50, 1, 2, 3. So, this is 550 that we made Saturday night, and this is what I made tonight. 1, 2, 300 dollars. It's giving broke. <laughs> I really like that. Like, this was a weak money count, but it's a realistic money count, okay? Every weekend ain't gonna be a beautiful weekend. Every night is not gonna be the night. That's just how the cookie crumble, okay? The club last night was so weird. Like, people didn't come till like three o'clock and the club closed at four. Like, what y'all in here for if y'all not spending money? You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody came super late and when they came, they act like they didn't wanna spend no money. Like, I just. Baby, I know y'all got y'all taxes, okay? And if y'all don't want to spend it, that's cool, that's fine. Go to the house. Actually, matter of fact, you don't have to go to the house. Just get up out of here. Because, baby, I'm not here for free. Like, I don't know what customers be thinking, but I really need y'all to get this in y'all head, okay? I understand it's a club. I get it. I get everybody's drinking, everybody's smoking, everybody's lit. But understand something. That's still our job, okay? We still have to make money, okay? So don't forget that, baby. We still need the coins. I don't understand why they don't get that. Like, I just wish customers understood at the end of the day, that's still our job. One thing I cannot stand that customers do, they be like, what you doing when you get north? What you doing when you get north? Boy, what you mean what I'm doing when I off? Boy, I'm going to sleep. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why customers be doing that. They be quick to be like, what you do when you get up? Boy, I'm going to sleep. Ain't nobody staying up waiting on nobody. <laughs> that be annoying me about them. They be like, dude, when you get up you to death, like, boy, I'm going to sleep. That's what I'm doing when I get up. No, I'm not linking up with you. Like, stop begging. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, y'all. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all in the next one.